Welcome to the Essential Ideas of James Buchanan. It's quite common to hear people say things like, the government did this, or it's in the public interest to do that, or what the country needs is this, or the voters chose that. But one of Buchanan's most powerful insights, for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize, was that such phrases, no matter how commonplace, don't actually explain anything. Buchanan understood that choices are only made and actions are only performed by individuals. The country, or the voters, or the people, have no thoughts, or interests, or needs, or wants. Rather, only the individuals who live in the country do, and their interests are not identical. Buchanan explained that if we're going to accurately understand political processes and outcomes, we must understand how the prevailing incentives and constraints affect the choices and actions of individuals. For example, let's imagine you wake up one day and a newspaper headline exclaims, the government has approved a new program that's in the country's interest, just as voters want it. On the face of it, this headline tells us that voters collectively elected this government, which then collectively passed a new law that the country collectively wanted. Explaining this political outcome of a new program is much more difficult. First, the voters didn't choose anything as a group. Each individual citizen acting on his and her own incentives and self-interest made a decision. The aggregate of all those individual citizens' decisions resulted in a party being elected to form government. Then, all of the individuals who work for government, again, each also guided by his and her own self-interest and responding to his and her individual incentives, drafted legislation and regulations for the program for the politicians to consider. And finally, the government itself is really just individual politicians who form the cabinet and fill the legislature, and they, too, are guided by their own individual self-interests and incentives to decide whether to support the new program or not. So Buchanan's insight is that to truly understand this new program, we need to first understand what motivated the individual voters to vote a certain way, and what motivated the individual government workers to design the program the way they did, and what motivated the individual politicians to support the new program. For Buchanan, to properly explain decisions made collectively, particularly in politics, we must understand the individual people involved and the incentives and constraints they face. For more information on James Buchanan, visit EssentialJamesBuchanan.org. And to learn more about Essential Scholars, visit EssentialScholars.org.